Okay, here they want us to condense the logarithm down to a single natural log. So you can see we've got three of them. And I've got the answer over here, and it looks like they have varying answers. This one would be considered more simplified. And so I'll kind of show the steps on how to get to that point. So let's just start with the first two right here. So I'm going to focus on these two. And we're going to use the product rule. And what that is, is if you're adding two natural logs, as long as they're the same base, so natural log is base E, you go ahead and you multiply uh, the parts together. And so that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to end up with the natural log of 2x times x plus 3 divided by, and then here I'm going to put the x in front. It just looks a little bit nicer. And then I have x minus 3 here. So that's going to be the first part here. And then minus natural log of x squared minus 9. And then this part is going to be the quotient rule because we're subtracting here. And so you're going to create a uh, quotient among these right here. And so um, here we go. So let's see. We're going to have the natural log of, let's see. So we're going to have 2x times x plus 3 all over x times x minus 3. And then I need to divide by x squared minus 9. But that's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So like, let me just kind of show you real quick. So if you had 10 and you want to divide that by 2, that equals 5, right? That would be the same thing as doing 10 times the reciprocal of what I'm dividing by, which would be 1 half. The reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. And then that would become 5 also. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to change it into multiplication, but then I have to use the reciprocal here. And so that would be x squared minus 9. And that's not the only way you could do it, but to me that would probably be the easiest way to kind of look at that. And then what you can see from here is that we pretty much have that first part of the answer right there. If you were kind of to multiply this together, that's exactly what we have right here. But they, and, and we want to do the same thing, we want to go ahead and simplify this a little bit further. So the easiest thing to see that can cancel out are the x's right here. And then right here, the x squared minus 9, that's going to factor into x plus 3x minus 3. And so what we can do here is cancel out the x plus 3s like that. And so if you look, what we have left in the top part of this is just a 2. Um, oh, they left the x there in the answer. Okay, they should have went ahead and canceled that out. Um, so we are going to be left with the 2 in the numerator spot. And then in the denominator, all we have left is x minus 3 times x minus 3, which we can consolidate together to be x minus 3 squared. All right. And there we go. So yeah, there was actually a little typo there. So maybe that was your whole question to begin with. But um, anyways, that's what we end up with. Hope that helps.